All right, guys, here is about Davido. Davido was spotted with Dawson, his child. Yeah, <laughs> somebody somebody told me. Uh, if I now have a, a competitor, <laughs> because they believe he's the only, only boy in the family, now Dawson is added to the family. So, fourth child. Uh, a lot of people are actually surprised. Davido conducted this DNA test 10 or, or 11 months ago. That's what I think, right? Because we got, I, I saw this report last year that Davido conducted a DNA test and it confirms that that child belongs to Davido. Now, some people seen Davido, the child, the first time publicly, be like, oh, he finally conducted a DNA test maybe last week or last month. I think it's a long time paying child support. Now, the, the lady, the mother of the child is an Angolan. Her name is Larissa. She stays in UK. She's a makeup artist. I, I mean, at that time the news got out, people thought this lady just wants to trend because she's a makeup artist. She wants to use the opportunity to trend. And think about it, right? She named the son Dawson, son of David. It is self-explanatory. <laughs> Anyways, finally, it's out there. Davido's child. Now that child looks so much like Davido. A lot of people said like this child look like Davido. If that child is truly Davido's child, Davido will take responsibility. And here we are today. Remember that one that child, the female child, the mother is still on that case. Believe that that child belongs to Davido. But according to Davido, we don't conduct the any test. This child, this child is not mine. Remember, even came your own lawyer also backed that lady. But they do uh, say that they don't do the any test and nothing, nothing to discuss on that. And according to rumors, <laughs> they said that Larissa, this lady, has been in Davido's life since the year 2017, despite his relationship with Choma. So are you telling me that while Davido was with Choma, you know, dating Choma and all that, while he was uh, busy singing Choma, my love, how he was seeing this lady. And is that the reason or part of the reason they are no more together? It seems like they are, they are more like friends now. People said, oh, they're just trying to keep their relationship away from the public. I doubt that. I'm not saying it's true or false. No. But I doubt it, you know. I think, you know, they they are no more together. They are just, uh, you know, co-parenting. They just, you know, because of Ifain. That's why. And they are trying to keep their, especially children, trying to keep our private life private. Okay, guys. Um, what do you think about this? Um, I don't know. What do they want with Blessing See You these days? Uh, Blessing See You said, uh, please, my man, if you want to cheat. He said, don't cheat. But if you have to cheat. Please cheat with another woman, not with another man. <laughs> this whole thing going on in uh, Nollywood as well. You know, there's also been reports about gays in Nollywood, and some Nollywood actors have been accused of being gay, gays, bisexual. You know, guys, let's watch this video. Dear future husband and boyfriends, I want to beg you for a favor. And I want you to pay attention because I'm extremely serious. There is one thing you are going to do to me as a woman and it will break me. It will shatter me. It will destabilize me. And I will never forgive you. It's just one thing. Don't Cheat on me. Don't cheat on me. And if you have to cheat on me, please, I beg you, and I'm on bended knees, 
let it not be a man. Please, if you ever cheat on me with a man, I would never forgive you. I will curse you. I will curse you from my womb. And I mean it. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you are gay, if you are bisexual, if you are attracted to men, tell me. Don't lie to me. Don't hide it. Tell me. Let me know if I love you enough to deal with it. Let me understand where you're coming from. Let me know if you were molested as a child. Let me know why you decided to be who you are. Maybe when I know and understand your roots, I will be able to absorb and understand. But don't lure me into getting married or dating you and you love men. That is the biggest and the worst punishment you can ever give to a woman. Please, I beg you. I'm appealing to every man who likes blessing to you. If you know you like your fellow man, Tell me, don't deceive me into marrying or loving you and I find out that a man is my competitor. Please. The things I see and hear during therapy is heartbreaking. So I am begging you, whatever life you choose to live, just be honest enough to tell whoever you want to date. Please. It shatters a woman. The next one right here is about our um, is politics, by the way, Tinumbu. So the APC youth leader posted this video recently on social media. Uh, he said that Tinumbu does not sleep. Oh, that's what he said. He said Tinumbu no they sleep. And uh, do you notice something? Why is Tinumbu trying to bow in front of the camera? I think Tinumbu is bowing to us, <laughs> the viewers. Let us watch this uh, video. Hey guys, so this is like 12.30 in the morning and I'm with daddy at home. I told you that daddy doesn't sleep until like 4 a.m. in the morning. And this is like past 12 and he's still not even feeling sleepy at all. Uh, daddy, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, we have this pastor here from Edo State. He's got this to say about Zinumbu. He said, <clears throat> he said he will leave for Cameroon if Zinumbu becomes or wins next year's election. This is funny. Uh, let's watch. Tinubu! Chakapa! <laughs> Chakapa! The Chakapa of Lagos. The kingmaker of APC. <laughs> I don't tell you now. Don't tell you now. The day when Tinubu go down with, don't I find another pastor? Guys, this pastor said he was shown the next president of Nigeria. I didn't hear any names, right? He's supposed to drop names. Tell us who is the next president of Nigeria. We okay, maybe God has shown you, but we need to know. Let us have an idea so that when that person emerges, the president or the next president of Nigeria will be like, Yeah, you said it. Remember, you said it. You know, let's watch this video. Sit down. Imagine standing here and being shown Nigeria, the elections of Nigeria. The Lord literally showed me the winner of the elections. Because two men stood in front of me. And I mentioned something. Because the thing that I had seen was something very confusing. God is strictly using Nigeria. Is he using other nations? Yes! Oui, il utilise les autres nations aussi. 
but you can't have the amount of impact Nigeria had is had on Christianity in the annals of heaven is written Nigeria the Babalolas the 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 Ida horses, the Oye depots, the Ade boys, they of course the magnificent Pastor Chris. Ah. Tous les généraux de Dieu que l'homme de Dieu est en train de citer viennent de Nigeria. The Kumoyis. The Kumoyis. They all hail from Nigeria. The new breed of apostles, Nigeria. There is a certain grace that is... Okay, I don't know if you've uh, paid attention to what has been going on of late. You will notice that um, there's always been um, negative reports about pastors. Now, on some pastors, there are no evidence of this. Others, there are actually, you know, evidence or proof to show that this pastor, this, <coughs> this pastor actually did what he said he did right now this one is shocking i don't know like i don't want to believe this is this true are you telling me that this pastor caught his wife sleeping with an assistant pastor that works under him i Nothing as painful as that. Somebody that you pay salary, eh? Come to chop your wife. This is what this video. But why? Daddy. The Bible, who is your daddy? daddy. Who is your daddy? The Bible says when you win this on sin is dead. Do not say that, brother Sam. Brother Sam, do not say this. I just said this young man. I made him assistant pastor. And you do this to me. You do this to me. Don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. You are a disgrace to the womanhood. You are a disgrace to the womanhood. I am not your daddy. I am not your daddy. If I do not know your daddy, you don't do this to me. Oh, 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 and don't be like this lady let us read this <laughs> a very short story good evening i got pregnant for my boyfriend after i gave birth uh, then he decided we should marry he has done all traditional rites. Our wedding and trad uh, in his week's time. He suddenly brought up the issue of DNA. This boy is dark like him. What else does he want to know? This boy smells like him. He's just two years old. Please, I want to ask if you meet Mr. A two days to ovulation and Mr. B three days after. Who owns the baby? <laughs> Damn question. He is Mr. B. The boy looks like him in complexion. <laughs> Mr. A, Mr. B. What about Mr. P? <laughs> Moving on to the next one. This lady calls out those people based in Obodo Ibo abroad. Nigerians especially and Canada to be specific. She said that Nigerians in Canada no like to they help and they see you as a competition. You see, when you two get brain, it tends to happen. <laughs> if you are from a society, everybody is smart. <laughs> Please, lady, don't blame some Nigerians. So I know, yes, you will say it's not good. It's not, it's unfair. We shouldn't be doing this to our brothers. And don't blame some people. Because Nigerians are too smart. So when we are in the same space, we see each other as competition. It's bad though. Me, I don't like competition personally. I don't like competition. Seriously. Once I notice that you are beginning to compete with me, I leave you because I don't want to wahala. You understand? But seriously, if you think about it, you're not gonna blame these people again because Nigerians are smart. 
So when you day around them like this, you go the you go the watch. Anyways, guys, let's listen to this lady. Let me know what you think. What is or what are your thoughts? Nigerians, why are you guys so mean to yourselves? Why are you so mean to yourselves? Like you're gonna see Nigerians now, like you come into your work and then you your fellow Nigerians is uh, working the same, doing the same job with you, and then they come. You think they're happy with you. Once they come in, it's like they always think you want to take the job. Now only you want to do the work finish. If you work all the whole work, where they cannot finish. Why are you guys so mean and you never assist people? You always want people to 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 have problems. You want them to go through problems before you. You're always happy when they have problems. Why? You see Indians the way they cooperate. You see um the Filipinos the way they cooperate. But Nigerians, weakness inside them. We I don't know. Why can't you be be your brother's keeper? Why can't you be your brother's keeper or your sister's keeper? You guys are always jealous of each other. Oh, like oh, what is she putting on? Oh, what is she doing now? You always want that person to have a problem. You're never happy. Why? You fit work the job, do all the whole work where they Canada finish or the work where they Europe finish. You fit do all the whole work where they America finish. Why are you guys so mean to yourselves? You're never helping each other. You never. Why? That's bad. You guys should change your bag. Another year we enter. Change. Make one change. It's too bad. It's too, too bad. Damn too bad. Ah, oh, too much. What do they worry with it, Mike, self? Eh? It can't come uh, another person party with clerics you remember remember what thing happened during apc convention there was a report out there that these people um invited fake um bishops so i think that is what he's trying to replicate here or mimic good evening sir can i know you guys sir where do you come from what parish are you sir are we not saying nigeria can someone talk to me hello sir evening sir can someone talk to me Thank you so much for watching until we see you next time peace